you would be surprised at the mobs that are going to be on this list. Because some of these mobs you would never expect to deal this much damage or have that much health. However, we're going to we're going to show you the 10 the top 10 most strongest mobs in the whole game. So let's get in. I am Lewis, welcome to my channel. If you are new, make sure you do subscribe for more Minecraft videos just like this one. But for now, let's get into the top 10. Let's go. At number 10, we have a rabbit. I'm only joking. I mean the killer bunny rabbit. Obviously, it isn't a killer bunny. I just don't know how to get it. But killer bunnies deal six hearts of damage in a single bite. That's as much damage as the Elder Guardian. So that's a pretty strong mob. And I know what you're thinking. That ain't a killer bunny. I know. I know. Don't worry. I know it. I just can't get one because... I think they might be rare. However, Killer Bunny is at number 10. At number 9, we have the Drowned. Now, these guys have a trident, which, when launched, deals 6 hearts of damage in a single throw. And especially since you're in the water and you go slower than them, they are really difficult. And they're very, very strong. So, make sure you've got the right armor and the right weapons to get rid of these guys. Because they aren't pleasant. Just look at him. He's, he's just not pleasant, is he? Anyways, that is number 9. At number 8, we have a Vex. And they really just don't stop moving. I can't, like, do this. Why is this so difficult? Just stay still. Stay still, would you? I swear to God. They don't even... They don't stay still. Right, stop. Please. Oh, we got lightning too. But yeah, these guys. Because they are actually spawned by the Evoker. Uh, they pass through solid blocks to make them quite difficult. And what makes them really, really tough... Come back. What makes them really, really tough is the fact that they deal between two and a half to six and a half heart of damage. Okay, it's down here. And you've got to make, you've got to um, think about this for a second because, where are you? Where have you gone? You're there. Because they come in groups of five. So if you aren't careful, if you have no armor, they will take you out. So I would say they are pretty strong, and that's why it's on number 8. They are the most annoying to try and film. Why are you so annoying to film? Really? <sighs> At number 7, we have the Wither. Now, the Wither, as you can see, deals a lot of damage, as you would think. But it is quite high on the list. And there is, um, obviously, reasons for that. There's a lightning strike. But the Wither. Let's talk about the Wither. It obviously releases all these gigantic explosions. And it, it deals damage. Watch this. Of seven and a half hearts per dash attack. So when it's in the second stage, it dashes and it takes away seven and a half health. Seven and a half hearts of damage. It's even going after all the mobs around it. I like how I like how it attacks its friends. Aren't they supposed to be friends or something? I don't even know. But yeah, seven and a half hearts of damage when it does its dash attack. That is, that's quite a lot. Anyways, that is number seven. At number six, we have the Ender Dragon. And you're probably thinking, how is is it only on 
number six. And there's obviously reasons. So let's have a little discussion about the Ender Dragon. So first of all, the Ender Dragon is actually a girl. I only just found that out. It's actually a girl. So there's a little fun fact and something you might not have known. <laughs> but the Ender Dragon is in fact a woman. And it also deals seven and a half heart to damage per melee strike. And I don't know what melee strike it does. I don't know if it's when it like blasts the like that purplish stuff. I'm not quite sure. Or maybe when it dives into you or something like that. But it deals seven and a half heart to damage anyways. Which is obviously very, very strong indeed. And also its health is stupidly high. And it requires a lot a lot of damage until you can kill it. But anyways, that is it for number six, the Ender Dragon. At number five, we have the Ravenger. Now this is a really strong mob. It's usually with the pillagers. Um, when you see a raid of a village, you'll likely see them. So that eats its way through any non-permanent block like leaves. Um, so basically it charges through and it's getting attacked by the weather. But it's a really strong mob. As you can see that's about 3, 4, 5 hits it's taken. 6. Look how strong that is. Um, so it deals 9 hearts of damage and yeah, you will most likely see it in a raid of a village. So it deals nine hearts. That's almost all of our heart gone in one like in one hit. So I would say that's pretty strong. But now it's, we've just left with the saddle. That's unfortunate. So that is number five. At number four, we have the Vindicator. Now, this one carries around an axe to attack you. And it deals nine and a half hearts of damage. It's the second highest melee damage of all non-boss mobs. Nine and a half hearts. That's pretty much all our hearts gone. I think we've got 10 hearts, right? That's going to be quite embarrassing if I just got that very wrong. But 9.5. That is a lot of hearts. So make sure when you go into a woodland mansion, you have come prepared. Because this guy doesn't look like he wants to get messed with. Just look at him. At number 3... We have the Iron Golem, and we're actually going to be able to see it in action right now, doing its thing, <laughs> taking out these slimes. So they have 50 hearts, so that already is a lot of hearts, and very powerful, very strong. And when they strike, when they do that strike, they launch you, and also they deal 5 to 16 hearts of damage per that melee strike so very easily it can kill you so I would keep on your good side because otherwise you may be in for a treat <laughs> I like how he keeps looking at me like watch this <laughs> are you looking are you watching this right now are you seeing what I'm doing to these slimes these slimes are getting absolutely owned. I like how the slimes can't... Oh, the slimes can do damage to do that Iron Golem, but I don't think they stand a chance. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. But yeah, that is number three, the Iron Golem. At number two, we have the Ghast. Now, these guys are creepy as they are in the nether, and they do. Are you ready? But hang on, before we get to how much damage they deal, they only have five hearts. 
which may be surprising. However, to compensate for their lack of hearts, their fireballs deal 12 and a half hearts of damage. So that's obviously if you don't have any armor on, because if you had full diamond, you'd definitely survive it. But 12 and a half hearts of damage. So that is enough to kill you. But that is a direct hit. Usually you don't get directly hit. But wow. 12 and a half hearts. Yeah, you're right to run from them. And at number one, we have a creeper. That is number one. This is the strongest mob in the whole game. A creeper. The simple creeper. So on hard mode, their blast will do will deal thirty six hearts of damage when obviously you're standing right next to it like that. And um like literally nothing would save you from that. No armor, nothing would save you from thirty six <laughs> 36 hearts and also when they are struck by lightning they become an ultra rare creeper called the charged creeper which their explosions deal are you ready for this a whopping 72.5 hearts of damage you know, you didn't think that, did you? You didn't think at the top of this list you would have a creeper. But there you go. So that is the strongest mob in terms of damage in the game. Hello, creeper. How are you? I'm going to stay on your good side. Please don't explode me. So yeah, that is the top 10 strongest mobs in the game. So that is it. That is the top 10 strongest mobs in the game in terms of damage. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give the video a like. And also, if you are new, make sure you do subscribe for more Minecraft videos just like this one. But for now, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.